Prince Harry and Meghan Markle showing no signs of apologizing to mend royal rift. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship with the royal family has hit rock bottom, according to one commentator. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship with the royal family is at rock bottom, and the Sussexes are showing no signs that they're ready to apologize to heal the rift, a commentator has claimed. Royal watcher Michael Cole revealed he believes the only hope for reconciliation would be if Harry and Meghan apologized to their relatives for any perceived wrongdoing on their part. He told GB News, it is interesting to note that Meghan is not on speaking terms with any of her family apart from her mother and a niece. Nobody else in her family speaks to her and she does not speak to them. Cole said his feeling is that the situation is much the same for the Duke of Sussex and his relatives, adding, likewise the relationship between Prince Harry and his family is hardly existing at this moment, which is not surprising considering the criticism that has been laid about the royal family from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex since they departed from the royal circle. The expert said he believes things have reached rock bottom and only apologies from Harry and Meghan would diffuse the tensions. He added, it is difficult to see how those relationships are going to be mended without some apologies on the part of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They are showing no signs of that, frankly, it is at rock bottom. It comes after another commentator claimed Meghan had been hoping for a meeting with her father-in-law King Charles over problems she faced after becoming a member of the firm. Neil Sean said on his YouTube channel, Meghan Markle wants some answers from His Majesty the King. She tried to set up a meeting with him, she sent him a letter and wanted a one-to-one -to, -one to explain exactly the problems she's encountered ever since becoming a member of the British monarchy. The thing that really riles Meghan is that Ferdy pops up on things like the ITV daytime show this morning, loose women and billing herself as the Duchess of York, selling books and possibly doing adverts all under the royal family, he continued, adding, Meghan and Harry seemingly don't understand why it's a different rule for her. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex faced steep challenges in 2023 surrounding the release of Prince Harry's memoir Spare and other media ventures but they still have the opportunity to thrive away from the royal family, according to royal expert Dr. Tessa Dunlop. She said, It has delighted naysayers and critics of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that American showbiz Bible, The Hollywood Reporter, cited the couple on their list of 2023's losers. Dr. Dunlop added, Here was proof that even Harry and Meghan's Californian colleagues had grown fed up with a couple called out for being whiny and hypocritical. But how many of us double-checked exactly what the original article said? Sure, the Sussexes are labeled losers, but the Hollywood Reporter concedes all the scorn and mockery heaped upon them beats having to attend 200-plus official royal family engagements year, which sounds hellish. Speaking to the Mirror, the royal expert continued, in other words, Harry and Meghan might be in the celebrity doldrums right now but it is better than the performative gilded cage they left behind. The road to freedom was never going to be smooth and the company they kept on that Hollywood list of losers, including the Marvel brand and Disney, suggests that even making the list was something of a compliment.